I've been spending the last few months looking at the broader picture uh, when it comes to the Ethereum roadmap. And I noticed that there were some items that were extremely ambitious, where the ambition of the roadmap didn't match the pace of change of Ethereum layer one. So the way that we traditionally do uh, upgrades to Ethereum is through forks. And those have happened once per year since uh, Genesis. Um, and when we do those forks, generally speaking, we add a small feature. Uh, so we've added uh, you know, withdrawals, we've added the sync committee, we're going to do maxi B. One of the forks was also the merge where we connected um, the EVM with the, with the beacon chain. And what I'm a little bit worried is that um, in the path that we're currently going down, it's going to take decades, you know, potentially, you know, 20 years to complete the roadmap. And I've been thinking of ways to basically pour some accelerationist fuel on the roadmap to try and get the whole thing completed within roughly five years. And so uh, what I'm basically proposing with the beam chain is um, a rewrite of the consensus layer, which uses the latest and greatest ideas uh, from research, but instead of starting from the uh, the beacon chain and applying incremental upgrades, uh, which is you know, somewhat difficult and only really possible for small incremental changes, instead just taking a, a clean slate from scratch approach. Um, and one of the benefits here is that um, we can get rid of a lot of technical debt that is slowing us down and that is preventing us from making these big changes. And then another interesting aspect of it is what I call uh, basically a governance batching optimization. So in order to make changes to the L1, we have to go through this whole process, which is extremely expensive. Um, so there needs to be uh, you know, research and then spec writing, and then you need to propose an EIP. And then there's going to be multiple Oracle dev calls and then there's a process of, um, you know, arguing around priorities, which which EIP should, should should go first. And then when an EIP does get selected, there's a whole pipeline around testing. So there's dev nets and test nets and, uh, you know, audits and all of these things. And that is just a very, very expensive process that we have to do every time we do a fork. And so if we need to do you know, 10 forks, let's say, that's going to take 10 years and it's going to be very slow. What if instead we batch everything together into a single fork so that we only have to go through this process once? Maybe the testing and due diligence process will be uh, especially long uh, and, and, and robust because it's, it's a bigger change. But ultimately, the slow and messy human part is minimized and we try and maximize uh, the, the ability to just push technology at layer one. 